Well, Isuzu has officially launched their 100% owned vehicle manufacturing plant in Port Elizabeth. This investment came at a time where GM South Africa had decided to disinvest, closing their production plants in the country. This investment has managed to save a thousand jobs for the Eastern Cape and created 3,000 in direct supply. The new manufacturing plant seeks to produce up to 70,000 vehicles a year, where 15% is earmarked for export. The decision by Isuzu took place at a time when uh, you know, we were undergoing um, uh, investment downgrades, where uh, there was a, a fairly low level of investor confidence in South Africa. Uh, they uh, took a long view. And I think that that view is uh, now vindicated by the fact that we now have a president in place, in office, uh, who will be putting uh, at the forefront uh, of his agenda uh, that we will address a lot of concerns that have been around about the investment climate. We've already been trying to work as the DTI, uh, as the Department of Economic Development, which has been part of uh, the, the process and some of the regulatory issues of ensuring that this investment happens. Isuzu has presence in 30 countries and operates in 47 plants. South Africa is one of their biggest markets and they still plan to expand further, depending on the economy and the response of sales. We are confident that uh, as we involved into this operation 100%, we can grow our business here in South Africa and then with which we can kind of glow more in this continent, in, in African continent, which will be uh, the future. Isuzu also has now launched the new Isuzu MUX SUV, Isuzu's first SUV, but it will be imported for now and depending on the market response, might be manufactured in South Africa as well. If we're Porti, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.